Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Well, guys, I just wanted to share a couple things with you. Look at those two downbursts. Are those not impressive? Look at that rain just pouring down from the heavens. This is out of uh, severe weather Europe. That's just intense. And then look at this view of Mount Etna from space exploding. Pretty amazing, and um, I know our flat earthers out there will say it's all fake, dude. Okay, but still, beautiful view, isn't it? Look at that view. So, for New Year's Eve, revelers in Times Square should pack a poncho. It's been raining a lot. It's been raining a ton on the East Coast. We have gotten so much rain in western North Carolina, it's incredible. Not just here, though. Uh, pretty much the whole eastern half of the nation has been just saturated. And uh, as it says here, what a difference a year makes, at least for outerwear for New Year's revelers in Times Square. Instead of donning parkas to withstand a wind chill of 5 degrees below zero, as they did last year, the party crowd this time will turn to ponchos for what will feel balmy in comparison and uh, yeah, it's it's like 60 degrees here. It's been warm. It's been a very warm win winter season so far, um, you know, and it can't really complain from that. But, you know, the rain has been another story. That's been tremendous. And while the Great Plains in the West will feel the effects of a cold storm, much of the Mid-Atlantic and the South will cope with moderate winter temperatures and rain, according to forecasters. How can it be 10 degrees warmer in New York City than Phoenix on New Year's Eve? Asked CNN meteorologist Chad Myers, adding that it will feel like 50 in the Big Apple. It will be one wave of rain after another. Snow, ice, and rain are forecast for northern New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. A complex system is going to bring a plethora of impacts from the Rockies to the north, northern plains and upper Midwest on Monday, making uh, travel potentially dangerous. And, uh, yeah, it, it actually it feels ominous out here right now as we look at this U.S. winter storms kill seven. And it's been, it's been an intense season, uh, different, very, very different. Two different seasons here. The west has been pretty cool. And here in the east, it's been pretty warm for the most part. And uh, we have one big snowstorm, as you guys know. Otherwise, you know, it's just been a lot of rain. But still, a lot of deaths, and it's it's really something to pay attention to. Uh, Biloxi, Mississippi was soaked with five inches of rain. Tallahassee, Florida braced for three inches or more of rain just a week after being hit by eight inches. So flooding is everywhere. The weather contributed to several deaths during the week. A 58-year-old woman in Louisiana was killed Wednesday when a tree struck by lightning fell on her home. In Kansas, police said icy roads caused a fatal car crash Thursday, a crash Thursday involving a snowplow and a pickup truck in Dunn County, North Dakota, claimed the life of a 37-year-old truck driver. A 17-year-old boy in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, was killed in a two-car collision that police blamed on icy roads. And so you have to be safe out there. And, I mean, there's nothing you could do when a, you know, lightning hits a tree and it drops on your house, you know, or then make sure there's no trees around your house if possible. Those are truly, you know, as we would say, acts of God. First large storm of 2019 to spread rain, ice, and snow from Texas to New England later this week. And so the stormy pattern that began the last week of 2018 is going to continue into next, uh, next year and next week as the first major storm of the year is going to spread a large swath of rain and some ice and snow from the southern plains to the northeastern United States later on. The storm threatens to restrict travel as millions head home from their holiday ventures and return to work and school. The same storm producing snow in the southwest through Tuesday will reorganize over the southern plains on Wednesday, travel northeastward Thursday and Friday, and then push off the Atlantic coast this weekend. And so, you know, be aware, be cautious. You're going to have um, an icy snow mix in some areas, and that's always really dangerous. Just enough cold air could sneak in that low levels in the atmosphere produce a swath of ice and wintry mix from portions of central Texas to parts of Oklahoma and, Can and Arkansas. 
the risk of at least some ice may extend as far south as the hill country near San Antonio. The Dallas metro area may be in the crosshairs of an ice storm, while Oklahoma City might see a sizable wintry mix that includes ice and snow. And then you're going to have heavy rainfall going more eastward. And so more intense rains coming in. And as I've shared with you guys, like here, boy, there's Asheville was tremendously impacted by the rains. And uh, one of our family members uh, sent me some photos showing she has a new river in her backyard and was actually thinking about vacating because it was so uh, intense. And uh, the area of ice may disappear over the Mississippi and Ohio valleys as the structure of the storm changes and less cold air is likely to be found in the lower parts of the atmosphere. There might be a sharp northern, northern edge to the rain area, which may limit the amount of snow on the storm's northern flank over the Midwest. And as we have been seeing, flood alerts issued for mid-Missouri counties as well. So be on the lookout for that as well. And the uh, area of flood warning was extended in the area to include Mont Monto, Cole, Boone, Audrain, Callaway, Montgomery, Osage, and Gasconade County, and it will last until Monday at noon for those eight counties. Heavy rainfall there as well. Tornadoes have been, um, it, it does look like tornado weather here, and just to the uh, west of us, there's tornado watches out as well uh, for northern Alabama, southern Tennessee. So be aware of, of that possibility as well, my friends. Flooding reported throughout Nashville neighboring cities. There's been lots of rescues going on. There were rescues over in this area as well. You know, think about it. In years past, how many times did you see people rescued from cars for flooding locally? And it's everywhere. And we're seeing this. This is just a regular thing. You know, a woman had to be rescued from her car here. And this is Bluebird Road in Lebanon. It's just a real common occurrence now. Crews rescuing West Alabama residents who are stranded by flooding. And there's some videos, and here's some rescuers all dressed up, ready to go. As, uh, you know, they take their boat out and probably go ahead and take it straight down Main Street, the way things are going nowadays. It's been crazy. And so 13 water rescues needed after flooding closes and destroys roads in Hale County, and that's Alabama. Water rescues. This has been the year of water rescues. And baby, it's cold outside. Expect no snow and bad air this week. And um, this is in Utah. Sunday storms, which brought an inch or two of snow to Salt Lake Valley, is the last significant precipitation expected along the Wasatch Front this week. But boy, it's going to be cold. Possibility of light lake effect snow with little or no accumulation will taper off in northern Utah by midday on Monday. According to the National Weather Service, the main story will be the arrival of some of the coldest air of the season. So if you're planning on attending an outdoor celebration on New Year's Eve, bundle up. Temperature at midnight will be as low as 10 degrees, 22 degrees colder than the same time last year. So look at how the patterns have switched between the north, I mean, between the east and the west, the patterns have switched so much, uh, such a drastic change uh, in the patterns. Very interesting stuff that we're seeing. And we have a strengthening tropical system to threaten Vietnam and Thailand with flooding rain. And, uh, you know, that area has been, been hit hard as well. And also down in Australia. So, Northern Queensland, we have tropical cyclone to exacerbate flooding in that area as well. And many other areas of Australia are melting in a tremendous heat wave. Uh, but northern Queensland is suffering from flooding. And relentless rain has fallen in northeast Australia recently, with Daintree Village reporting 827 millimeters over the last week and Karen's race course receiving 452. The average rainfall for the whole of December is only 181 millimeters. Look at the differences. That's just amazing. But this is, this is again, this is something we're seeing globally. Things have just simply changed. We're not, <laughs> we're not in the same cycles anymore. And let's just take a quick look at Ventuski as we uh, finish this up. So right here you can see this is looking at the temperatures. 
Sorry guys, I'm used to Fahrenheit. So we see New York City. Yeah, we're in the high 40s. Our area over here, it's in the 60s and 50s. You know, Florida's still nice and balmy, 80s for the most part. But when we go out west, look at these temps. Holy cow, it is cold out there. So you guys are feeling the full effects of uh, winter where on the eastern side it's just it's more like a, a spring pattern with the rain coming in and then it's it's not too bad up in the UK with our friends there and over in Ireland and uh, Western Europe as well not too bad not too bad for uh, December 31st guys so I want to wish everybody a happy new year in advance as we take a peek at the snow cover none for the UK none for Ireland, you got some snow going up in, in Iceland and up in Sweden, Norway. Uh, but overall, you know, not too bad in Europe. Really nothing much happening over on the East Coast, but you got some, especially in the western central areas, there's some snow cover. And let's just take a peek and see what the waves are doing, see if things are calming down. Wow, well, you got some serious waves up up here off the coast of Iceland above Scotland 30 foot waves going on right now yeah 14 15 foot waves off San Francisco area it's it's definitely not what it was it has calmed down some quite a bit actually most of what we're seeing is in the 20s no more 50 foot waves off of the uh, Kamchatka Peninsula And here off of Chile, only about 18 foot, still good enough to catch a few if you're a surfer. And about 25 foot waves just south of uh, Australia. So not too bad overall. So my friends, may you guys have a blessed new year. Happy new year. May you guys be safe in your revel revelry. And as always, my friends, thumbs up to support the channel. Please do subscribe and join our growing family and share with as many as possible. Stay safe out there. Enjoy yourselves. God bless. Happy New Year and Namaste.